Chest number one. Who? Uh, mind runes. Nice, mate. Chest number two. Uh, yeah, Varax plate skirt. That's that's nice, mate. That is actually nice. Um, oh, I had enough space. Fabulous. Thanks, Varax. How about you leave another skirt in the chest for us? Yeah. Oh, well, I did ask for a skirt. I guess a rims rope skirt will do. I was more. I was talking about your skirt, but sure, why not? Chest number something. Oh, wow, back to back. Look, I got that, and then I got, like, the flail. Nice. An item item. I don't care how much it is, not gonna lie. Kind of, kind of, thanks for the Govern's War Spear. Or the Elite Clue. That's what I'm after. Govern, give me your War Spear. Oh, we can, we can give you that. That's pretty good. Nice. Yay! Elite clue, right? Let's go do that. Nah. Ooh, a Torax plate body. Hmm. Jakey needs. Jakey needs to do. Go there. Uh, ooh, Torax legs. Wajd. Badoodle. These nuts. I should sure, sure, do some commentary because I'm about to get a Guffin spear. <coughs> <laughs> <For coins. laughs> Just coins, nothing more. Meh, look at that plate skirt, that's my second one. Meh. Ooh, a Guthan Zelm, how much is that? Blimmin' heck, let me give that an examine. Two mil. Ah, the rim's hood, that's so beautiful. I'm going to bed after this one. Uh. <laughs> But, but now I want to do more. That's my third Varix plate skirt. Hmm. Ooh, flail. Eh. Ooh, a Torax helm. Ooh, Torax legs. Meh. Is that back to back to back? Meh. <laughs> I would have preferred an elite, but sure. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Carol's crossbow. That's nice. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what? That's not meant to happen. No, you're not. You're not meant to get. I thought it's impossible to get two. Two items from the same brother. What? Hmm. <laughs> Please, I just want the leak glue. I don't want Kirill's leather top. <laughs> One second. <gasps> After 205 chests dry, we finally get the elite glue scroll. Ooh. Guthan's body. Nice. Yes, elite. Yay! That was clip. That was really quick. Ooh, how many of that? <laughs> I think that's my fourth one. <laughs> Ooh, I got that not so long ago as well. When did I get that? Four hundred eighty-two. Two dress later, Varex Helm. Hmm. Yay! Ooh, Krill's crossbow. That's the first Arox piece. Hmm. Yay! 
second dark piece. I'm gonna die. Ooh, baby, double item. Ooh, baby, triple. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go on a dry streak. Oh my goodness, that is like my 50,000th one of those. Yeah, the last elite. I nearly got 500 chests. Why am I lagging? Well, he's doing fine. Why am I lagging? Why is it just me, huh? He's racist. Look, Daryl's gonna smack a 70 on me in a second. He just, he's slamming them zeros. The Venom's gonna eat him. Oh, there we go. Finally. E Daryl's play legs. E Kareel's love is good. Oh, baby, a double. From the same brother again. I thought... See, I got double Varex item a while ago. E, Two more chests. Or three more because in one of my videos, I... In my last video, I, um... I looted the chest with zero KC because I was doing a clue out to, like, dance outside the barrage chest or something. Risky business. Never mind DC and good I went through that door or else I would have died. Probably, maybe. Unless I out deepsed Arim. This this uh is a bit ridiculous. Oh we're, we're moving. Are we stable? We are not stable. Oh no, there's a bloodworm. Right, F first death incoming. Please attack Arim. Or teleport. Please teleport. There we go. I like how I clicked on him to attack him first, but nothing happened. I'm teleporting back with the Shades of Morton thing, so that I'll get the extra chest for looting it while with no KC in that video that I've already explained. So I did indeed start at 214 um, chests, and now I'm at 714, which is 500, but like I said, um, I looted an empty chest by accident, or not really, I did it on purpose. While I was doing a clue scroll, which doesn't count because there was no way I was getting a barrier's item from that. The last chest. Uh, what are we going to get? Uh, a whole bunch of nothing. Alrighty. See, I would show you the barrier's chest now, but I'm going to bed. But that doesn't matter because you're going to... Next thing you're going to see is the loot tab. Yep, alright, bye. So, the barrier's tab. <gasps> Click. Uh, so, 500 chests. Like, well, 501, but one of them didn't count. Two Varric's hounds, five Varric plate skirt, three flails, and that, and that, and that, and that. So, I didn't manage to get a Brassard. I didn't manage to get Curl's Coif. I didn't. I managed to get full Guffins, full Tuaregs. Didn't manage to get full Arims. Didn't manage to get full Darrocks. And these Darrock pieces, I didn't get into my last, like, 50 or 100 chests. Like, I didn't have any Darrock pieces before then. And the runes. I used um, the Chaos runes to charge this. And on this, I used approximately approximately 10,000 charges and I had I started with um, 16,000 death runes 16,000 blood runes and 60,000 water runes and 60,000 fire runes so you can see there I've I'm up 2k death runes but how many blood runes am I down I'm down around a little under 4,500 but we'll just withdraw 4,500 benefit of the doubt um for the first couple hundred chests I didn't use the desert amulet so I used down the potions and that um how many did I use? I probably used like 100. How much are they? So 700k and I'll just withdraw 100. I don't think it was that much because I've been using them for clues as well, but benefit the doubt, like I said. Um, 60,000 fire runes. So let's just say 300k in fire runes because that's what it is ish. And we've used 14,000 water runes because we started off with 16,000 of those. And for the last couple hundred, I've been using super combats and range potions. So I've probably used like 40 of both. And now these things. So I, whenever I've already said, but. Um, I would use the chaos runes I got from the loot to charge the trident, which is worth it and makes sense. Um, so chaos runes, all of these are pure profit. And also, there's some coins, like the loot from the coins. I've probably got a couple hundred k, like 400, 500k. Then all the pieces, and this is all the gear I used. Um, th there's totally a better setup than this, but I just carried on using this because I wanted it to be fair or something. I also used six mil worth of barrows tabs i bought 500 for around six mil though if i was going to redo this i would use void i would either use void or i would use this setup again but i'll ditch the seven time helm 
I'd bring a DFS switch so I didn't have to barrage the melee brothers, I could just tank them, and I'd ditch the Krills and buy Armada or something. Or I would use Void and I would, um, I wouldn't bother with the Mage Helm, but I'd bring the range of melee switches. So right, let's see, this is in supplies, so I used nearly 3 mil in supplies, let's call it 3 mil because Let's call it 3 mil because this might have been more and there might have been some other little things. So 3 mil in supplies, let's just bank those. And the price check, here we go. Boop! Nice, 39 mil. I didn't know it was going to be that much, I honestly thought it would be like 15, 20 mil. Oh actually, yeah, these are 11 mil by themselves. Where are the Varax go? Oh, here they are. Those are nice to get, 5 of them. It did get a Guffin's War Spear. And that's that, I th I'll just go sell this now. But then stick around because I need to dis discuss something. There we go, boop. Nice. What I coulda, shoulda, woulda done is I should have um, made them into sets, all the pieces that I had sets for, and sold the sets. I might have got a little bit more of that. But that's that, so let me do some quick calculations for you. So, 500 chests. And I did between 15 and 20 chests an hour. So this took around 25 to 33 hours-ish. Somewhere between there. And you get that. Plus, plus like, 11 Elite Clue Scrolls. Which is stupid because they're 1 in 33, so it should take, like, around, like, 300, like, 370, 380 for 11 Elite Clue Scrolls, but whatever. RNG, bro. Ah, 69. Now, the discussion. This is somewhat big. Um, I want to do another 100 Mass Clue Scrolls. You heard right, ladies and gentlemen. 100 more mass clue scrolls. Um, now, I don't know how to structure this. This is what I'm thinking. Because if I make one big video of loot from 100 mass clue scrolls, that it will be in like a month time, like 40 days time, maybe around, maybe just 30 days. Um, I, that that would leave my channel blank for so long. Um, so what I'm thinking is making a mini series like Road to 100, um, Road to 100 mass clue scrolls, and basically I can update you every 10 clue scrolls, I'll probably make one episode every 10 clue scrolls or so, unless I get like, like a third age piece on my fifth one, then, then I'll just make the episode and be like, oh, third age. Um, but the reason I want to make it not as official, because with the other clue scrolls, you can't see it, but I um, I made a spreadsheet to keep track of all the stuff I use and all the stuff I got to work out my exact earnings. Interruption swag. Benny, this series would not be as official because... Um, there are better ways of getting elites, depending on the time of day, which which is like which will be um a big time factor in this if I'm doing a hundred of them. As in lava dragons are better than barrows if you can because I'll have to go test it, but I'm pretty sure they'll be better because barrows at the moment, fifteen to twenty chests an hour, it's one in thirty three, so it takes around two hours. Give or take like twenty minutes, right? But lava dragons are one in one two five, I think. Let me just double check that. The lava dragons drop clue scrolls in one in two fifty, but you wear the ring of five eyes, so it's one in one two five. And you can probably kill around a hundred an hour, which means it's an hour twenty for an elite, and it's AFK. But it's in the wilderness, so I can't be doing it midday or like after school times, even though it's summer. So that doesn't really make sense. But um, also get PK'd like so much to the point that I may as well do barrows. So I'll be mixing and matching, and doing both. So I'm not going to be keeping track track of uh, what I've um like gained and used in supplies but all of it all of the loot is just going to be sitting in like this tab or like what i think will be pretty cool is in this tab where i have all of my loot for my clue scrolls is if i never like release these because then you'll be able to see that i've got from every single clue scroll because i'll be selling the loot from every clue scroll every one episode which will be every 10 clue scrolls ish but if i leave that here you'll be able to see what I've got for, for history, man. Memories! And then there's the question of obtaining hard, medium, and easy clue scrolls, because what I could do is I could spend the profit from Love Dragons and Barrows on um, Jarred Implings, right? And they're like 1 in one in 50 for hards and 1 in 50 for meds and easies and all that. So what I could do is spend the profit on that, on the Implings, and then literally get hard, medium, and easy clues in like 30 seconds. Because you just have to withdraw them from your bank, so one's 25, and then you just spam open them until you get a clue scroll, and then you're done, there's your clue scroll. Uh, I'm not going to do that for elites, though, because <laughs> Dragon Implings are like 800k, and they're 1 in 50, so you work that out, that's 40 mil per elite. Um, tell me what you think about the series. I definitely want to do the, hun the uh, 100 mass clues, but not sure how to structure it. I'm pretty sure that's a good idea, but tell me if you've got any better ideas, or if you agree, or whatever. I hope you enjoyed, bye.